a little bit of story to put like you said more guys i saw in the news that the legend the myth the hero ratan tata passed away so sad bro make so rest in perfect peace this is a video i want us to react to this is kind of a tribute to him yeah so without further ado let's just go straight into this video ratan tata a titan of corporate india is no more Of course, he's no more. Ratan Tata was born into a family of great prestige, the lineage of J R D Tata, the founder of the Tata Group and an integral part of India's history. He was brought up by his grandmother Navaj Bai Tata in a manor called Tata Palace in Mumbai. He did his schooling at Camping Cathedral and John Cannon. He was driven to school in a Rolls Royce. No. Later, he went to Cornell University and fell in love with America. He wanted to settle down in Los Angeles but destiny had other plans for him. With his grandmother falling ill, he was compelled to return to India. A turbulent relationship with his father Naval Tata pushed Ratan Tata to apply for a job at IBM. Wow. His father didn't take it well. Naval Tata asked his son to make a resume and offered him a job with Tata Industries in 1962. Ratan Tata went on to join Tisco now called Tata Steel in 1963. When he took over as chairman of the Tata Group in 1991, India was pivoting. Wow. Licence Raj was being revoked, the economy was being liberalized and it was Ratan Tata's time in the sun. In the early 2000s, Ratan Tata had a string of high profile acquisitions to his credit. Techly Corus Jaguar Land Rover and Devo took the Tata and the Indian flag Damn. abroad. In 2008, he created history with the launch of the cheapest car in the world, the Nano, priced at 1 lakh. The Nano. He was also awarded the Padma Vibhushan that year. From telecom to software, manufacturing to aviation, FMCG to garments, the Tata Group has expanded across industries under Ratan Tata's watch. The conglomerate is worth over 30,000 crore rupees as of March this year. Wow. In 2008 when the Taj Hotel in Mumbai came under a terror attack, Ratan Tata showed great compassion and resilience in its What? aftermath. I didn't know about that one. He stepped down as chairman of Tata Sons in 2012 after 50 years and was appointed as chairman emeritus. Wow. A bit of fight with his appointed successor Cyrus Mistry over his handling of the group led to the ouster of Mistry. While propelling the group towards growth, he continued to indulge in his three loves: flying, fast cars, and scuba diving. He was Damn. also a champion of startups and invested in successful companies like Lenskart, Urban Company, Blue Stone, and Ola Electric. Ooh. Ratan Tata was well known to be very fond of his German shepherds Tito and Tango, and lived a simple life even as he created great wealth for fellow Indians. So yeah, this is the video. It's just like a a tribute of his accomplishment, what he has been through, like a little bit about his life, how he lived this life on this earth. So I think I have to leave you guys with it. What shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and loses his own soul? So if you if you like this verse, let me know in the comment section and. Rest in peace, um, Ratan Tata. May the Lord be with you. You have been, you know, a life changing in this um, generation. You're a legend, bro. May your soul rest in peace. We will meet someday in heaven. Amen. Peace out.